Okay, so hello everybody, this is episode 7 of my folks in TD20 head gasket rebuild. And so far, since the last video, it has sort of gone a bit wrong. Because, as you can probably see, the radiator cap is missing and there's coolant on the floor. Because this thing here, which I thought was just leaking, it was broken. Uh, and that's why I've got a new one. It turned out, if I can get the old one, that this bit had broken off. Um, wherever the little bit of brass is, but I don't really care about where that is now. It was supposed to be connected up here and filled up with mercury or something, just to be able to get the heat across. But that broke off as soon as I tried to touch it. So that just goes back in there. So I had to buy a new one. Shush. A new one from Silver Fox Tractor Spares. I'm not being paid to tell you that, but this is quality tractor parts, but it came from Silver Fox on eBay. It was brilliant, came in a day, even though I didn't pay for next day delivery. It was brilliant, I've got that one. I have also got, this is the old one, a new one of these, because the fuel tap was leaking through, like it was leaking to the carburetor when it was off. So that wasn't good. So that's that done. You see all of this is taken apart. And I had to take the carburetor off again, which is always good fun. So look, carburetor, there's supposed to be a carburetor, like here. And take the fuel line off again. I never put the pipe on, which is just as well. And the carburetor is over here. And if you see said carburetor, they're not meant to do that. They're not meant to come in half. Like, well, in normal operation. But I've taken all this apart, I've washed it all in petrol. And I've cleaned the float because this was sticking in the bottom and it wasn't letting any fuel. And it was just like sticking loads of fuel through and flooding itself and coming out through here. And that isn't water, that's petrol. So just of all of you, don't drink that. Okay, then you this is all clean. I've flushed it all out with petrol, like I said, just with a little just gone in there with a paintbrush and just tried to clean it all out and I've blown it all out with an airline. I'm just waiting for the gasket that goes around here because the old one, don't think the old one is still on the bench. I think now it's in the bin, but here's the gasket was completely shot. But I'm getting a new one of them, should hopefully come in the next couple of days, and then the carburetor can go back on, and then that should, should, there's wood, touch wood, that it's all right. But this one was leaking a bit, but I just tightened the, this thing like hell, and it isn't anymore, until this, Started touching on the fan cowling, which then means the fan touched. That means I was had to hammer the inside of this to get it to work. But now, if I can hold the camera and turn the engine over at the same time, it was scraping in there, and now it isn't. So that's an improvement. I also did a compression test. The old results were 55, 60, 40, and 60. The new results are 60, 50, 55, and 60. So one of them went down by 10 PSI. All of the others went up or stayed the same. So I might have just got these two cylinders. I might have just got the whole lot confused and had 60 was actually number four. That would be my only explanation, but then it would still have gone down by five. But and I've also put, like I said, a new one of these in here. This is still a bit loose. I've got to tighten that up on the back. But it feels a lot better because the gasket is slow. This one, wherever it's gone, had contracted it and it being that old. Because this should have a little bit of, or at least all the one, all the new ones I've had, had a little bit of tension. So they're sort of like that when they're in. So when it's pushed together, it fills all the gaps. I think this is really old. We did replace this though. So maybe like every five years you've got to replace one of these to make, make sure your fuel tap doesn't leak. That's what it's turned out to be. And then you've got the old rubber seal here. I've got a couple new ones of these, but this one doesn't seem to leak that much. So, Well, it doesn't leak at all, that's why I've kept it. But if it does, I've got other ones. And the fuel bowl has a crack through it. But that doesn't leak either, so I'm going to keep that. The only other fuel bowl I've got is the one off of that tractor. Because that one had to have a new one. Because it's one was cracked, but it didn't leak 
but it was just a worse crack than that one. And if I tightened it up properly, then it would have smashed. So I, so I didn't. And then you can see the new fan belt, new hoses. But yeah, this one will just be me putting the gauge on. Oh, I didn't realise this little mon uh, prologue bit has just turned into five minutes. So you can see this original paint around here. See when it was painted originally it was in here. And then when it was painted again by the second owner, owner before us, it was painted like this bluey grey, which to be honest I actually quite like. Which is why the bonnet is that colour. And I think the wings were painted as well. I think, I'm not sure, I'm still never sure about the wings whether they were painted or not. These definitely were, because these are new, see they're yellow underneath. Mm, that's probably more obvious to see. But I reckon they might have been painted in the areas they were bad, and just most of them were left, or they've just worn. But, yeah. So, I was going to put this bowl back on. I did that this morning and then realised I've got to put the clip back on to put the wire running back to the temperature gauge, which goes conveniently onto the back bolt of here, which is a hell to get to. Which is like this little spacer and this bolt and that nut. Two 11 16th nuts. So I'm going to put this gauge on quickly. I will get back to you when it's done because most of it'd be, well at least in my incompetence would be difficult to film unless I was holding it like that, which I don't have the ability to do and work on it at the same time. Because you have to put all of these little clips in through. And then I'll put it into the dash here. And then I can connect all this back up. Show. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> put this bit back on. Uh, and that wasn't coronavirus, by the way. That was just. I just swallowed my own. Uh, yes. Swallowed. Uh, bit of spit. But you don't really need to know that. Okay, well I will get back to you as soon as I have the uh, temperature gauge back on. Well, so, the tractor is running. It's still not running quite right. It's popping and banging a bit more than it did, but it's running and it's not hesitating when accelerating as it did before. And it's not leaking out of the head. So that's good. It's blowing a bit on the exhaust, but that's because there's a hole in it. So. Thank you for watching my little Focus and TG20 reroll series. This is uh, I've been on the one three five. Well, don't do that for fun. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, maybe you'll see some more little videos on the Focus and TG20. So, okay, bye for now.